Welcome back to my channel and this is this week's grocery haul. So let me get started. Um, I went to a local grocery store today and then Walmart and I got a couple things at Marshall's. So some celery here, some baby cut carrots, this is cilantro, I got a few nectarines. I got two heads of cauliflower. This is going to be for a recipe that I am filming for you guys this weekend and it will be posted on Tuesday. Um, sweet peppers, sweet mini peppers. I got some green grapes and some red grapes. I didn't feel like going all the way out to Costco today so I had to pick my grapes up somewhere else so we'll see how these are. I got some more of these sweet oat and fiber good thins. I got some of the corn ones too, but I don't see them. Anyway, these are four points for 21 of them, and these are really good. These are good with, I uh, mix up some PB2 and dip these in them, and it is really good because they have a real sweet flavor to them. I got some of the Harvest Nap Pea Crisp, and these are, for this whole bag, is nine points, and you can have 22 of the little crisps for um, three points. Got some bananas. My usual top salad. This is a poppy seed one. Um, this one has sweet cranberries, roasted pepitas, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, romaine, kale, carrots, green onions, and a dull poppy seed with Greek yogurt dressing. I won't use the dressing, but I'll use everything else. And if you do use the dressing, this one I believe is five points for one and a half cups. And I don't know how much it would be for the other stuff. I'll have to figure it out. Um, I forgot the chipotle and cheddar, which I get usually every week. This is four points if you use the dressing. And the barbecue ranch is also four points if you use the dressing. And they're all one and a half cups for the serving. I picked up some of the sugar-free pumpkin pie syrup. I'm going to use this in a recipe that you guys will see on the first day of fall. Um, plus, I'm going to use it in a couple things this week that I'm going to eat. And... Um, since I guess I didn't make it to Costco, I just picked up a small bag of the grilled strips and I'll use these for salads and for lunches. Picked up a few of the flavorful bird's eye. These do have points because they have flavoring on them. So this is two points for the ranch broccoli. This is really good. I've had this one before. This one I've not had before. This is the sea salt and cracked pepper Brussels sprouts. Now this one I didn't think would have been any points because I did not read the ingredients before I got home. When I got home and I looked at them, this does have olive oil. So this is three points for a serving of these. And I also picked up the Fiesta Lime. I saw this in Jesse's video. So I'm gonna use this in a chicken taco salad that I'm gonna have for dinner this week. And this is, I believe, two points for two thirds of a cup, if I remember right. Okay, I got some of the Alfresco uncured chicken bacon. You can have four slices of this for one point. This is an indulgence. This is seven points for this, but I had to try it. This is a pumpkin harvest crisp. It has pumpkin yogurt with pie crust pieces, uh, pecans, and glazed pumpkin seeds. So, like I said, this is going to be a treat for sure. This is a different kind of turkey pepperoni because, like I said, I went to a different store. So, this is the armor. Well, I'm glad I did because when I scan this one, and I'm going to have to put, I'm going to put the nutritional information in just to be sure that it is correct but according to the scanned part of it which we know isn't always accurate it says you can have 23 slices of these for one point so i'm going to check it um and see make sure everything was in there correct but if anything i'm sure it's probably just like the other ones that are you can have like 16 17 but i'll plug it in for sure and let you guys know and some sprouts so i can make another fit fam sandwich i have some diced onion I got some lunch meat, some of this for my husband and some of this for my son for further lunches. I'm going to do um, sandwiches again in meal prep. Um, so 
picked up some more mountain lunch meat, but these are, you can have six slices for one point. So I got black forest ham, smoked ham, turkey breast, and two of the black pepper beef. And this is a new purchase also. And I usually make my own meatballs, but it's hard for me to find ground chicken. Actually, I can hardly ever find it. And when I do, it doesn't look the greatest. So I found these, and you can have six of these balls for two points. And I'm not sure how big they are, because I've never had them before. So we'll see how they are. Um, I picked up, you know, the store I was in is the one that always has the fat-free cheeses, so I just like to stock up because they're, you know, the dates are good on them for a while. So I got cheddar and mozzarella, and actually I am having, um, having flatbread pizzas this week. And let me go grab that. Hold on. Okay, I knew I was missing something. So I got some of the folded, and I'm going to make some kind of sandwich or something probably out of these. I just like to pick them up because they're hard to find in my stores and just the folded ones. So when I see them, I like to get them and throw them in the freezer. And then I'll be using these for pizza. I can't get the, I really want to try the, the Joseph Silavash bread. I'm going to order some online. I found them online on their website, and it's actually really reasonable priced on their website. So I'm going to order some of those, I think, next week. Um, but for now, this is what I'll be using this week for flatbread pizzas. I got some of the al fresco chicken sausage. These are one point a piece. Again, like I've said before in my other videos, just make sure you get the country style ones. There are like a, I think that's kind of blurry. Sorry about that. Um, there's ones that are, I think they're called maple something, but they are three points a piece. But the country style ones are only one point. Pumpkin pie spice for some recipes coming up. Some pineapple tidbits. This is going to be for um, sweet and sour chicken I'm making this week. And I had to stock up on some drink enhancers. I don't use these a lot. I usually, and when I do use them, I only use a half of one in one of my cups. So I just like to stock up on them and keep them. Um, this is a half iced tea, half lemonade. Pineapple is one of my favorite. And we have grape and strawberry. Picked up two of the Dilly Bites. I'll show you that here in a second. So I picked up some yogurt. I got three of the pumpkin pie because I really enjoy these. I'm going to do something different with these in my meal prep. Something I saw in Cherie's video that she had done. And then I, and I got a vanilla also for the same thing. So that's coming up in meal prep on Sunday. And then pizza sauce for the flatbread pizzas and then the family's having pizza is also but on regular pizza crust so that's for that and I have this for my chicken taco salad black beans and reduced sodium and we are really loving this Opa jalapeno ranch Greek yogurt dressing and we were out so we're almost out so I got some more of that this you can have two tablespoons for one point all right some more tomatoes my favorite hummus the fiery sriracha hummus. I still have some garlic hummus in there for the um, avocado sprout, which I call the Fit Fam sandwich. I already have some of that still in there. Some of these take and shake potatoes. These are four points for this whole thing. I use these to make breakfast bowls. So that'll be for dinner one night this week. I got a big thing of strawberries. Okay, I got some unsweetened cashew milk. This is for um, smoothies and also for, a rest for the cauliflower recipe and then fat free half and half. And then the two things I got at Marshall's, I got these Pizzelle cookies, and this is the vanilla flavored. Now I did the points on this, so the serving size for these are six, and you can have five of, no, let me look again. Yeah, six cookies is, um, six cookies is five points. One cookie is one point. You can have, I believe it's five cookies for four points or something like that. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't understand my writing on here. I'm sorry. And anyway, so these are an Italian waffle cookie. I've never tried those before, but I think I've seen them in other people's videos. Now this, I'm going to ask you guys about because, okay, so this is, these are apple chips. And it just says bear, Fuji, red crunchy 100% organic here's the ingredients organic apples that's it there's no oils there's no added sugar 100% baked there's nothing there's no fat 
So it's just 100% apples, but when I scan this, it says six points for a half a cup. I'm not gonna count it. That's just my personal opinion. I know people might disagree, but I don't understand why when it's only just apples, why there's points to it. So that's what I gotta say about that. So meal plan for this week, and I'll also list it at the end of the video, but I will just tell you real quickly. Um, I'm gonna do something with the chicken meatballs. Flatbread pizzas, sweet and sour chicken, a chicken taco salad bowl, I'm going to make breakfast bowls, and then we'll have BLTs and salad. And that's it. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for a meal prep video that will be up Sunday, which is tomorrow. And um, so you can see what I did with all this stuff. And then what I ate videos will be up Monday through Thursday, and you can see how I use this food. So thank you for watching, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.